Hello, Bumpy Makes Quick Games here, continuing my Let's Play of The Last Federation. This is episode two. I was going to try to come up with a much more clever opening, but eh, that just didn't pan out as, you sh as I'm sure you saw. Wow. It's going to be one of those days, guys. It's going to be one of those days. All right, so I don't recall everything that I covered in the last little bit, but let's see if I can give you guys a little bit more of an idea of what's going on. So let's take a look right here at this place. This is owned by the Evix, or the Evix. And they are trending upward, as you see down in the bottom. Unfortunately, if I move my cursor down here, it gets rid of what I'm doing. So if you look, their economy is bad, but it's trending upwards. That's what that blue thing means. So that's the only thing that should be changing as time progresses up to a certain point. And if that changes off of that, it might go to another one and be red or blue. But the blues mean they're trending upward, and the reds mean they're trending downward. So if you look over here at the, the Andors, yeah. Look at the Andors down here. They're trending down, their environmental is going bye-bye. They are not adapting to the planet or doing well in that. Now, spacefaring, and it shows you all the stuff that happens, and this gets to be really, really, really long and strenuous as you go on through the game, so it's nice to kind of keep an eye on it for a little bit, but eh, you never know. Now, the Skylaxians, we helped join uh, the space race, basically. Well, they're in space, so it's not long, no longer a race. Um, the Evix made it on their own, so we didn't get a giant chunk of love from them, but since we helped them earlier, we still got a giant chunk of love. So if you notice, we have these little, little doves, I guess they are. So our influence is positive with these two races, and all the other ones, it's negative. Now, the lower the negative number, the more they hate us. The closer to zero, they're more neutral toward us. So overall, we're not doing too bad just yet. Um... Let's see, the Mire has been found, and the Ark has been found. Alright, so those are the things that have happened. So let's take a look here at this place. Now here's the different things that we can do. We can join, I tried doing this before, join and destroy a pirate base, which gives everybody positive influence with us. Not a lot, but a decent amount. That's a good way of getting like overall approval toward you from different races. Um, then we can actually expand usable land area. So basically we can pay money to help them get better. And this would affect their... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, expand usable land area. This is probably their environment that we would help. And it tells you this planet has a lot of area that could be habitable with the proper attention. If you're feeling like giving this race a boost, spend a few months. So you basically you can spend time doing these different things. And then you can also give technology. You can hire things from the black market like construction workers, scientists, which helps you quite a bit on the time it takes to do these different things. So if you needed, say you were completely out of cash, you had no credits whatsoever, you could actually dispatch any of these things and actually these, these are the ones that you pay out per month. These are the ones that you actually make. So as you see, you have to spend way, way more time um, helping them to make any amount of money as opposed to giving them aid. So, one of the things you can do is the tech tree. And we can't do this right now because we're missing the following prerequisites, but we can actually do these other things. So this will take us nearly two years to do, but then we're able to actually research other things. Right now, I don't want to do that. What I would like to do is hire... Oh, we have a diplomat, sorry. He's going to hire a diplomat. Let's see, who's pretty close to coming into the spacefaring... Thing. It looks like the Burlusts are, but the Burlusts are kind of nasty guys. They generally like to conquer everyone in the entire galaxy. They are a war-like people. Now, there's a lot of information at your fingertips in this game at all times, so it's going to be eh, a little bit, a little bit uh, overwhelming. That's why the tutorial is really, really nice. But even then, even in the tutorial, it's kind of like. Let's see how to, how to describe it. They they basically hold your hand through the tutorial, but it eventually stops giving you tips, hints, and helps you. So you then have to kind of take all the information you were given to finish it out. And I got to tell you, it takes quite a while, several hours to get through the tutorial because essentially you're playing through an entire game. So what I think I'd like to do at this point is the burlesques are going to get it anyway. So it's not going to kill us to have them on our side, so let's go see if we can actually help them become spacefaring. So we're going to deliver the spacefaring tech. 
It's going to give us a 5,000 credit bonus, and if we get caught, the Andors will not like us. The Evix will not like us, and the Skylaxians will not. So we have to try to avoid at least the bottom two, because we don't want to hurt our relations with them. So we'll go take action, and we'll go into the turn-based mode. And as you see, it's getting a lot more challenging. So if you hover over, you can see who's blocking the way. There's some Andors there, and you can zoom in. The Skylaxians, Skylaxians, Skylaxians. So it looks like if I can scoot right through there in the middle, and then just run through the one Andor guy, I should be okay. So I'm going to give that a shot, and I want to make sure that my guns are off for this. And I'm going to hold the fire, and we're going to go. Now these guys drift slightly, so it's not guaranteed that you'll make it through. But it looks like we did, so I'm just going to bum rush right through this guy, and it should be fine. Because I don't care if they hate me. I really don't. And bam, we should be there. I don't know what those things are that launch for me. That's one of those things that I don't quite get yet. It's There is a lot of RNG in this game. It is randomly generated to a certain degree. And The burlesque warlords are now space-faring. Extreme uh, caution is advised. They seem likely to take their constant internal wars to the solar stage. Yeah, they do. So as you can tell, the Burlust Warlords are a warlike faction, and they will conquer everyone if you're not able to keep them under control, which is actually pretty difficult to do. So we'll see how I pan out this time, how I do things. Because last time, it didn't work super well. I don't know what this is. Meteor Strike. A meteor has struck the planet. A large number of civilians has been killed. That's terrible. Well, um, and it looks like their public order is trending downward. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, they like us okay. It's not great. It's not bad. Um, so let's take a look. Race relations. You can see what everybody relation toward everybody else is, or at least you used to be able to. Right now I can just see my own. I thought we could see everybody. Hmm. Hydral oppression. Hydral filth, how dare you approach after everything you have done to deny our rightful place amongst the stars. Well, apparently they're not super happy with that, but eh, whatever. Alright, so the more spacefaring people we have, the more chance of conflict that will break out. Uh, let's see, become spacefaring via smuggling. Yep, I help them out. That is a sweet, sweet, nice. I'm going to go see if I can do some negative stuff to the Andors right now. So, if you left click, you're always going to do positive things. If you go down here to the Hostile Axe, you can check it out. Um, I'm going to attack their armadas. I don't know how many they have, but let's give it a shot. They already hate us, so them hating us more isn't going to hurt us any. At least it shouldn't. Well, let's say they only have the two? Two ships? Alright. And what is this thing? Alright, we need to fix our guy here. Oops, and there we go. Alright, what is this? Uh, our minigun is going to be our best weapon. So we are going to select it to fire at him via the minigun. We ate some damage, it's not that big of a deal. So again, we're just going to keep shooting at him. And now I'm going to do this. Pretty much destroy everything that was already launched at me. I'm taking some damage myself, but nothing too bad. We are not quite through his shield yet. He's got 130,000 out of the 399 that he started with. And, well, we're using our mini gun right now to get through it. Again, not the greatest thing in the world, but it's not too bad. Alright, looks like we did some hull damage, so now it should switch over to our gravity lance down here. If you take a look down here. Our gravity lance will do the most damage, so we'll switch to that, and goodbye. He actually survived it. That's rare. You don't usually see that happening. There we go. And we managed to destroy both, and we are out of there. So, we they lost some base power, some effective power, and two armadas in the fighting. Took me seven turns, blah, 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 blah. So basically, how much did I make? I gained 2,400 credits at 3x to normal rate, so... Sweet, sweet, nice, and we took care of our basic captors and oppressors, and they're going to hate us forever, and we're fine with that. We're going to continually uh, 
disrupt them and make them sad. These guys already have armadas out and about ready to do some stuff. These guys have a few, but ironically, also the, the, the Evix, they're okay as well. We can visit the black market, and we can negotiate with mercs, and apparently we can buy some technology, which I didn't know I actually could do. It's been a while since I had visited the black market, and I didn't even look. We can buy a weapon. That's 12,000. That is pretty neat. I didn't know that was a thing either. Alright, I'm actually going to try that simply because right now I feel that I am a little bit... Ooh, and it can sell prisoners as slaves. That's pretty cool. Well, the Andors already hate us. The Burlust will like it. Um, I don't know how many I can actually sell. Um, the Andors are going to hate us. The Evix don't particularly like that. We're going to do that, nor do the Skylaxians. But... I think we stand to make 7,000 credits, so that is totally worth it to me. And then I am going to, as I said, I'm going to buy a hydro weapon and add that to my deal. We got the spread shot. I don't know what that does. I don't even know how to see that, guys. So there's still quite a bit about this game that I don't understand. Um, let's see, tech progress. The only thing I have is fleet construction nanorobots. This technology will directly benefit your capabilities, but you do not have it yet. Actually, I don't even have that. Hmm. So I'm going to go try to steal that from the uh, the Andor right now, actually. Because they do have that. So I'm going to go do that as another hostile act, because, well, that's what I do. And I would like to... I should be able to do it. Um... Sorry guys, give me a minute. There's um, there's something that we have to do first, and I don't recall what that is. I think it's criminal activity. We have to, no, that's not it. There's something where we have to put like a spy or something in there, and I'm just not remembering how to do that, which is, I guess, okay. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing it. It's fine. We need to do something to make some more cash monies. So what I think I'm going to do is go over here to the Burlusts. And if they're not at war with anyone, which they shouldn't be, I would like to do a cooperative research if I can. And I don't want something that's going to take 99 months, but it might be that long. Mm. Well, anything that's in the red, like this, helps you. Anything that's any other color will actually not benefit you much. Uh, a bombardment, blah, 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 blah. Eh. Well, I don't think I'm going to do it with them. Let's see. Maybe these guys. These guys might be okay. Let's see here. Can't destroy a pirate base. Um, we could build a space outpost, which is cooperative, but eh. Um to learn a technology from a race and I think I'm gonna learn the subatomic particles and it's gonna take some time so what do we do now we go to the high speed fast forward and you'll see that solar data is going through stuff is going crazy and 21 solar months have gone by and bam so we just learned a technology that we can now share with other people and it looks like we have a new quest available to us and it is this person, Taemul died, which is to defect with Evic technology. So if we do it, the Evics will not particularly enjoy us. Right now we're trusted amongst them, but they'll go to liked. But we will gain one temporary contracted scientist. What? And it will defect to us with two potential technologies. So we'll gain stuff. I, I think I'll take it. It's not usually a good idea to kind of sabotage yourself, but it's okay. Alright, so let's take a look. We need to dock with the science lab. And I'm not sure where that's at. Is this the science lab? There, there it is. Okay, so there is the science lab. We must dock with that. And I am kind of curious as to see what additional weaponry we have available to us. 
I know there's a way to cycle through. Sorry, but I don't remember how to do that. Hmm. Well, I guess I just go with that and well, auto fire at anything that comes my way. I just try to avoid all the, the rapid gunfire and hatred. Just gonna sit here and then spam out additional peeps. Hopefully the game's not too loud, guys. If it is, I will adjust it in the next episode. I've adjusted my headset volume a little bit, so I'll hear it louder, but it's only based off of my... It's only based off of my headset. Uh, we're not doing a tremendous amount of damage here. So what I think I should do is... We'll give a... Uh, Let's see, let's take a look. Uh, the minigun still says it's going to be the best thing for us. Alright, well then I guess I'll just sit here. And keep using a minigun. Hopefully it all pans out, we'll zoom in. We have two turns left with docking. And our little ships are flying around doing work, and we're about done. So we'll finish with this turn, and bam, end of combat, we docked with the station. Basically, you just sit around the station, your tractor beam connects, attaches, and if you don't do certain abilities, it'll delay it. If you do certain abilities, if you don't do it, you just have to last for like five turns if you don't take damage and other stuff too. Those are all things that can hurt you. Alright, so we got Fleet Construction Nano Robotics and Planetary Ion Cannon. So these are two things that we can trade to benefit others. Now I'm going to spend some time trying, trying to help out, um, is it the Evix? Yeah, trying to help out the, the Evix, or the Evix. And, um, uh, optical computer seems like a good idea. It will get us, yeah, six points, why not, we'll, we'll execute that, and bam. In addition to that, we can... I'm not sure what we should do. We still can't destroy a pirate base because there is no... There aren't actually any pirate bases left at the moment, so... That kind of hinders us or hurts us a little bit. It slows us down because there's not a whole lot we can do right now. Um, here's one of the things, the Evic Elders. You can take a look. You can do trade deals. I don't know what most of this stuff does. We can laud a race or denounce it. We can broker a trade route. And I'm not sure what is that. Oh, you, this is how you can build relations with uh, other people. So you can either do it with the Andors or the Skylaxians. If you do it there, it says success or fail. Completing this action will take two solar months. 40 seconds relative time. It will cost us some monies, which is okay. We'll start trading with the uh, Tiamat for Xeno time, and we'll get one point it will temporarily increase credit costs of AVIX by... Eh, that's okay. I think I'm going to give it a shot. And... What does this mean? We get a plus 60 AVIX resentment over meddling? I don't know what that means, but... Sounds bad, I guess. I, I'm assuming I, I did that already? Alright. And then we can impose a tariff against the planet, but I'm going to back out of that. Hopefully they don't hate me. Looks like things are going up with them. I don't have a lot of money to uh, give right now. So at this point, we can look around to see who's going to be next in the spacefaring time. And it doesn't look like the Borane are going to make it anytime soon, but the... Uh, Thraxians will. Now the Thraxians are, I believe, warlike as well, so let's see if I can remember. Where does it show us? Um, I think if we just click on... If we right click on them? No, that's not it. I apologize, guys. I am still kind of struggling through things. Um, okay. That's not exactly what I'm looking for. There's something that tells you more information about the different races, and I am trying to figure out what that is, guys. So please be advised that I am pretty... Um, I wouldn't say out of practice, I'm just not that great with it. So... Yeah, oh, so there's a computer advisor. See, I didn't even know this was around. Top three suggestion, suggested allies that are not already in the Federation are the Acutians, the Burlusts, and the Skylaxians. The top three powers outside of the Federation are the Thraxian, Burlusts, and Evics. 
Military and science technology you are behind on. You don't have you don't have to have all of these. However, more blah blah blah. It doesn't look like there's anything there. No races are ahead of you technologically right now, so we're actually ahead on technology. Um no, that's not what I want either. I apologize, guys. Please, please, please forgive me. Ah, that's what it is. Planet D no, I did this already. I wanna say there was something very well, I'm gonna start hiring diplomats all around the uh the galaxy. That will give me a little bit more street cred with the folks, if you know what I mean. Got we gotta get to our street creds on. Um I gotta figure out how to view what I want to view, because I don't remember. That's pretty sad. Well, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, it's, it's pretty sad. But yeah, there's a way where it kind of told you a little bit of like the backstory on how the people are viewed or what they deal with, how they're handled. Um, it's not what I'm looking for. Hmm. Tech progress. Well, it's possible that it's only in the tutorial, so you kind of have an idea. Um, hire the diplomat there, hire the diplomat there. I suppose we could hire one here. Oh, we hired one. Alright, so we have a diplomat everywhere. We even have one in the places that we have helped. We do not, so we'll execute the deal there. And what do we have over here? We'll hire a diplomat there as well. And this should help us with our our relations with these different folks. There we go. So we have diplomats to everyone. We'll run the blockade once more and we'll get these guys into the Thoraxians, into the spacefaring deal. And that is where we're going to break off the episode. I'll try to play this a little bit more on my own because I, I'm noticing that I've already forgotten quite a bit of stuff, which I actually thought I had kind of locked in. So that bums me out a lot. Now, if we help the Thoraxians come into power... It seems a lot of people are not going to be happy with that. The Evix, if they catch me, are really, really, really going to be mad at me. Um, likewise, the Skylaxians, pretty upset. The, the uh, Andors are going to hate me, which I don't care. The Burlests, not so much. They don't seem to care that much. So, let's, uh, let's roll. We're going to try to avoid everything but the Andor, as usual. Now, this is going to be somewhat problematic. Hmm... So we're going to completely remove that, max that out, and we have a nasty, nasty grouping of guys that we are going to have to try to get through here. It's like the shortest, safest path is going through there, but the Skylaxians are guarding that. And they don't seem to care as much. The Evix would really, really hate me if I did that. Um, I might be able to fly through the burlusts there, so that's what I'm going to give it a shot. The burlusts didn't seem to care so much, so I'm going to see if I can actually make that happen. And hopefully we're not shooting at anyone. And there's a possibility we can squeeze in over there as well, so let's see how that all pans out. Let's go for it. We're in pretty deep right now, but we're not we're not done yet. It's all okay so far. Well, I'm gonna attempt very much to get there. And again, keep in mind they do continually move, guys. So that is a thing that we have to be concerned with. They move just slightly, but it's enough to kind of hurt us if we're not careful. See, they all just shift slightly. And it looks like we might actually be able to avoid all hatred this time. We'll see. Let's give it a shot. And... Yeah, it looks like we've actually avoided all detection. Oh man, that was close. Alright, and we've dropped it off. Sweet. Very, very, very sweet. The Thraxians are now spacefaring. Searching dictionary for a phrase more urgent than extreme danger. <laughs> Done. Imminent doom is today's advisory. Imminent doom is today's advisory. All right, sweet. So that wasn't too bad. We managed to run the blockade flawlessly and get spacefaring technology to another warlike race. 
So I'll see if I can figure out where I get to give all the descriptions and ideas and thoughts and things and whatever about the different races in the next episode, guys. But for now, this is going to end episode two. I know not a lot happened. Yeah, a little bit of combat, some running the blockades, hiring some diplomats and whatnot. So, I mean, some things have happened, but this is a lot of the game, guys. It's really about handling menus, coming up with ways to advance your relations with people, help them along, um, defer other people to, like, do your bidding, and upset your enemies to the point where they hate you and maybe do something really, really dumb and get themselves killed. And, well, for now, we're, we're doing pretty good. But that's going to end this episode, guys. I'll catch you, I'm not sure when, but fairly soon. Fairly, fairly relatively semi-somewhat soon with the next episode of The Last Federation. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later. Bye.